In this video, I'll show you how to solve any percent efficiency problem. The first question asks, a certain electric motor consumes 865 watts and has an output of 1.2 horsepower. Find the efficiency of the motor. The first thing that you'll notice just by reading the example is that this is in watts and this number right here is in horsepower. So there's a discrepancy with those units. We have to convert either this into horsepower or this into watts. It doesn't matter. So the first thing that I'll do is convert 1.12 horsepower into watts. And to do that, I'll use this conversion ratio and I'll multiply 1.12 horsepower times 746 watts over 1 horsepower. And this way, the units will cancel out, leaving us simply with watts. So 1.12 times 746 gives us 835 watts. 835 decimal 52. The number that we multiply, the approximate number is 1.12. So we should also stick to three significant figures in our answer. Now since this number is followed by a 5 and this number is odd, we have to increase this by 1 and we end up with 836. 836 watts is the same thing as 1.12 horsepower. Now we have to find out if this electrical motor is actually efficient and to do that we will use this formula where we have output over input times 100 gives us the percent efficiency. The output is 836 divided by the input of 865 watts, multiplying that by 100. The two units cancel, so we're going to divide 836 by 865, and we get a percentage efficiency, which is excellent, of 0 0.966. And mind you, we haven't multiplied by 100 yet, so let's multiply that by 100. And to three decimal places, we end up with 96.6% efficiency, which is really good for a motor. In question two, we're asked, a certain speed reducer delivers 1.7 horsepower with a power input of 2.2 horsepower. Find the percent efficiency of the speed reducer. So our input here is 2.2 and that has two significant figures, and our output is 1.7. I'll divide these two numbers, then multiply by 100, and that should give us our percentage. 1.7 divided by 2.2 times 100, and that gives us 77.27. 77.27, reducing this down to two significant figures, we have 77%. So, the percent efficiency of the speed reducer is 77 percent. And there you have it. Two examples on how to solve practically any percent efficiency problem. Make sure you remember this formula and you're good to go.